Hey guys, Tyro here. Welcome back to an episode of GT Online Racing. This time, hopefully, let's go back to normal. Let's uh, let's have some more chill races after the uh, the events of the last video. So if you haven't seen that, definitely go and check that out so you know uh, why my blood pressure just peaks. Honestly, uh, what was that start of this, this race? Okay, let's not have any more of that, shall we? We made up a place or two though. We're up to tenth place now. We're coming now through uh, turn one. We're in, a, we're in our we're in Omnis. I think this is stock cars though, because this doesn't look like my custom Omni. No, it's definitely not because I have off-road uh, off wheels on mine. So it's like stock cars for everyone at least, because I definitely wouldn't have chosen a stock car if we didn't need to. And this, as I'm just ranting on as usual, is a, uh, a rallycross race where you have a joker lap you have to take, so it's like a longer part of the lap. You have to do once in the race, and I'm doing it now since I started in last place anyway. Let's get it out of the way early and hopefully we have some good pace now. This is where we, we can overtake people later on in the race. You have to take their lap if you haven't taken it yet. So literally, I, ha I haven't watched Rallycross in like 10 years. But literally, until we get past that Joker part lap on the final lap, you're not going to know where you are compared to everyone else. Because I'm in 11th place now, and this is the only car in front of me here which has taken the Joker lap. So we could end up theoretically being first and second on the final lap of the race if me and him have that such good a pace which which I mean of course we don't but it could work out like that now then onto lap 2 at 5 honestly this seems really slow driving a stock Omni I mean driving any stock car is honestly slow to get up to the supercar like that something about this just seems really so okay there's a few more cars there taking their joke lap now and they're, they're still so in front of us okay so these two three cars here they're in front of us now legitimately for position as well because now you have to try and fight them now on track and those two armies from us getting fairly feisty that black one it seems to be fairly even to me in terms of pace and the one behind it does not want to be lost having to go to a nice move on the inside line you can make the dive stick is it side by side a little bit of contact forces the black one out wide but it made some mistake there so nice move actually from that brown brownie one but the bottom comes back over to make contact there with this blue car getting it all the places dives it on the inside okay something went very wrong for them i make a little bit of contact there we go for that wide number here into the brown car sorry about that but uh I had absolutely no control in that. I had nothing I could do. Yeah, the, the black ones had a crush of its own. Because it, it could just avoid the chicane of slow moving cars. Or no moving cars, actually. They're, they're, they're not gone anywhere. They're making them move that into turn one. Okay, what was that? I what? Okay, where did I... Um, okay, thanks for that. I, 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 I've got no words. What just happened there? You, you literally saw it there. I did not make any kind of... Okay, they've gone flying! How are they doing that? Oh, karma for that brown car for taking me out. Karma for you. I'm back in front of them now. I'm, I'm very happy about that. But I didn't hit that red car at the start lap. Literally, you can go back and rewind the footage if you want. I was nowhere near them. And surely that wasn't a lag hit because... Have you, have you seen any of the cars flying across the screen? That's lag related and not just them flying for some reason. But now to come out into the, the final corner hairpin. We're in up to P5 now. I think we can maybe get a few more places as well. Hopefully. Depends on any more people taking the joke lap because although everyone in this race isn't actually in the race crew that I'm in, so they're not all going to take the joke laps, I'm fairly aware of that. Okay, the brown car's got some serious speed, some serious speed now, so they're coming back at us now once again. And then, can we actually get through this corner without being rammed at the arse this time? Yes, we do. We just throw ourselves into the wall. Okay, there goes that brown car now, maybe even so then we can find a nice line there on the inside line. We just squeeze them and get very aggressive with them. Once again, and now going out into this corner, we've got the inside line. You managed to keep the corner there, keep the place. Okay, they back out that loads. Okay, I didn't squeeze them that well. I squeezed them, yes, but they weren't alongside me, so uh, I had every right to. Let's come now into the what would be the third sector of the lap if this race actually had sectors. But no, it's still in P5. Unless anyone takes a joke lap now, I'm pretty sure P5 is going to be the max floor we can get into the headband. Thankfully, we don't get rammed by the, the car behind us. With that car behind us, once again, it's surprise, surprise, that brown one. Now they can be hard enough now for the final lap, avoiding all three of the AFK cars now. Up to lap 5 and 5, and now Dre de Blaze and TS are having a massive fight for the lead, or at least the notifications are telling me that's the way. And honestly, how is anyone fighting Dre de Blaze? He's like OP as hell. I don't know how anyone's fighting him, unless he's taking a joke lap now, and they haven't. Now, now actually, into P4, so someone must have taken it. So like I said, you don't know where you are until you get past it, and now Drada takes first once again, which is honestly not surprisingly, but what is surprising is how he actually wasn't in first place to start with. But now they've got about half a lap left to go now to try and hold on to this P4. Honestly, I don't care where I finish in this race. I just want to beat that brown car behind me. And I've got a bit of a gap to them, 
But I can take it fairly fairly uh, chill now. We come now into the final corner here, there's been no dramas for any of the cars on the front, so we're not going to get a podium, but uh, given the race that I've had, it's been fairly okay. And we're still beating that brown car though, which is all I'm bothered about now. Coming up now to the finish line, we're going to hold on to this P4. Honestly, beating though that brown car, that is all I'm actually uh, actually bothered about. And I actually have a bit of a crash into an AFK car as well. But now then, on to the, uh, the uh, main race now of the video. And now we're back. Oh, you may recognise this. It's the uh, Planes versus Supercars race where I drove the Osiris and I accidentally blew up TS in the plane. And then we can try and get a good start here. We're in the Zantara, so a car that sees my driving style more now. They're going to the pavement now to avoid going into the. Into the yeah, I don't, it's a building of some sort. I don't actually know what building that is or what it's, uh, it's for. It's not a car park or anything. I don't know what it's for though. We make up some places net though, because honestly that was more just avoiding the group of cars in front of me than wanting to go for that car boost back then. And then after the place crash already, you know, they set the post of course we, we get caught up in that as well. How do they crash into that post? I honestly I don't know. Did the wing get caught or something? It must have done. Either way though, we're up into P6 now though. We actually managed to gain places. Somehow but okay, that thing's gonna be on getting very close, but thankfully uh, didn't make contact with us because they pretty much did synchronised sliding with us there. And then go for these curbies now. We're into P6. Okay, there's a plane right above us, literally. And now then, this would be where the planes have the advantage around the corners and that, because they can go full, full pelt around them. But they do have to go under the tunnel further on, so the plane way is, on, is undoubtedly faster. I mean, driving into poles like that is not going to help me whatsoever, though, if we get them now into seventh place. And this is where the planes have to go under here as well. So if one of the crashes into the wall there, that's us back now into P6. So. Like I said, the plane way is undoubtedly faster. It has so many more risks that honestly I can't fly planes. So uh, that's why I go for the car. Honestly, I prefer the cars anyway. Cars are way better, just in general, than pretty much everything else. Just absolutely in general, cars are just amazing. Uh, into Tower 1, we're catching on out to the back of this ETR 1, which is some kind of Lexus concept car in real life, I'm pretty sure it is. Some sort of Toyota Lotus thing anyway. Either way, we catch up to the back of the day. Not very often you see one of them, because it's not the fastest car in the world, but it's not the slightest either. It's got a good amount of, uh, it's got the uh, the downforce uh, effect on it, so the faster you go through corners, the more it will grip to an extent. Have you look inside, they get the closest door there to us, and that was very cheeky from them. That's allowing, they're causing a bit of kids. I mean, it's a Toyota, so it's not Yano truly, is it? In that Toyota causing a, causing a train to make a move on the inside line, because the Zentano is a sandwich quicker than them. Are we get up now into P5, do we? Yes, we do. We'll Okay, there's a plane above us, but I think that's actually, well, it was for P5, momentarily anyway. Now, as you come now under the bridge, you've got the nice really glowing red light, demon red lights now on the front of the Zenzono, because that's the thing that was added to the game a while ago, I think, with the uh, the, the last update, or at least last update at the time of recording, so anyway, there might have been another one come out uh, before then, but anyway, this is coming out with the Arena Wars anyway. Don't know why you can have now have custom lights, I mean, honestly, it's a nice change, but they cost quite a bit anyway. Either way, we're up into P4 now, so we've managed to uh, gain two places out of somewhere. I don't really know where, but uh, I'm not going to complain about that. Places are... well, places are places. The more you can get, the better. And I might actually be able to get somewhere close to the lead, maybe? Out of this race, although there's still a bit of time to go this race, so there's still anything happening. Okay, Matex has just entered first. So that's a chance of, uh, of winning the race. God, if Matex or, like, Dreddy gets into the lead, then... Uh, any chance of getting the wins absolutely gone out of the window. But now then, I don't actually know what lap we're on, so and there's, a, there's another lap at least to go. I'm thinking maybe another two laps at least to go, and there's, we're, well, we're in a bit of a no man's land here of our own. But now then, quick now into the final corner, and honestly, from just a racing perspective of how my driving's been, actually now we're into third place. Where did we just gain P3? I, I didn't, when did we ever take someone? I mean, just then, but I didn't even see them, so there must have been a plane that made them safe or something had to respawn. Like I said, the place is the place here, and I've just got another one gained right there. But now then, got, well, going okay so far on this lap. Although, like I said before, it's uh, pretty much a, uh, a no man's land of our own game. Someone's left the race. Hopefully that doesn't give us the glitch where it goes. Actually, this race is already in contact. I completely forgot that, because I haven't seen anyone else in absolutely ages. I forgot the race is actually a, actually a contact race for a second then. Uh, about half an hour on the lap. Honestly, I wish over that jump. You could actually have the cinematic camera like you could have in the actual downtown underground race. Okay, taking that, that pole has caused me quite a few issues, but y y you've got no choice. You have to drive. Th you have to drive through it. That's just the way the track goes. I mean, on the actual track, you can kind of like avoid it, but the way this one's built, y you can't. And it's going to the north. I'm pretty sure. Okay, there's a plane right behind me, and that plane's actually got it right under the tunnel. I think so. 
that's going to be uh, the fight now for the podium place. Now to come down onto the final lap now of the races. The car in front of me, I'm pretty sure, is for position as well. So second place might actually still be on the cars as things stand at the minute. You know, that, that plane behind is if they can get it right, although there's quite a gap to them. I don't know if they made a mistake or something. So I'm pretty sure now it's just going to be me versus that car in front of us for the fight for second place. So they did that car in front of us. It's pulled away quite a bit on the slab, so they're definitely not a back marker, because I'd have easily passed them by now if they were. I'm going to have to go for any car boost that we can find, because with the M20 being one of the first cars, one of the OG cars in the game, car boost actually affect it the way that they should to make it go faster. There's absolutely no handing flags on this car, and the plane's getting a lot closer behind. Now, come now through the pole, come now around the final car. Was the final going the wrong way? Actually, who's into us there? Almost takes us out. That's definitely a back marker. Just, just decided to drive the wrong way. I was hoping then for a second when I saw them, it was a car that made a mistake. The plane's into the bridge. That gave us by now our podium position. So we lost it for a second, but we gained about. It was a good effort there from the plane, but they just couldn't make anything of it. Now coming out around the final corner, over the line, it's going to be a, a well-deserved P3, and definitely makes up for the uh, the events of the last video. So if you enjoyed some much better races, leave a like. Definitely leave a like on this video. Leave a comment down below. Subscribe if you're new and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. And follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. They'll be linked down in the description below. So thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time.